Hello and welcome everyone to the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. My name is Jeannie and I'm your facilitator for this event. We are so thrilled to have you and we have a great group of institutions ready to tell you all about their schools and programs. Uh, just to get started with a few housekeeping items to make sure today runs smoothly, your camera and your microphone are off today, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. However, there is a Q&A button on your screen, and so we encourage you to type your questions to our presenters at any time during today's event. You don't have to save your questions until a certain institution is presenting. If you have questions for any and all of our schools here today, go ahead and use that Q&A function throughout the event. This is one of many different sessions happening. Hopefully you've already caught some presentations today and you're planning on catching some others. Make sure and check out the schedule to see when other institutions you'd like to hear from are presenting. And last but not least, this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash Illinois. All right, I'm gonna turn it over now. Our first presenter is Columbus College of Art and Design. Take it away whenever you are ready. Yes, yeah, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ashley Deal. I am a senior admissions counselor at Columbus College of Art and Design or CCAD. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about uh, CCAD as an institution, but also tell you a little bit more about what we have to offer students. So here we go. So if we're looking at CCAD at a glance, we are a um, private nonprofit visual art and design college. And at 141 years old, we are one of the oldest art and design schools in the country. So what this means is that we're deeply rooted into the city of Columbus and its artistic community. So usually we have about 1100 students. And so that's about a ratio of nine students per instructor. So our classes are small enough that students are able to receive that one-on-one -on -one attention from professors, uh, but they're also large enough that they're able to participate participate in critiques um, with other artists within their classes so that they can receive that constructive feedback that is so important for their development. Uh, you're going to have a BFA once a student graduates from CCAD, and that BFA is a bachelor's in fine arts. Uh, you can opt into your program of choice either on the application or wait until your second year at CCAD. Uh, but regardless of the method, uh, there is no additional application required to apply to your particular major. So if accepted into CCAD, you're going to be accepted into your major. There are 11 majors. Uh, we also have numerous minors and concentrations, like for example, our very popular business minor, um, but you can read more about the majors, minors, concentrations, and their requirements on our website, ccad.edu. Also on the website is going to be our application. Um, the application opens in October and has three main components. So you're going to have the student's GPA that we pull from the transcripts. There's going to be the essay. Uh, there'll be three different prompts in which you can choose from. I always recommend that students choose the one that they can write the most originally um, and also the most creatively about. And then you're gonna have the portfolio. That's eight to 15 pieces that really speak to the individual as an artist, right? The creative ability, but also their passion for art. All three portions of the application are scored equally. So the portfolio is just as important as the essay, which is just as important as your grades. Um, so please keep that in mind when working on the application. So you always have students that ask, well, why even consider an art-based education, especially when YouTube is going to teach you a lot of the stuff you want to know for free. Uh, you're not wrong, but when it comes to the value of an art-based education, uh, there's really two main aspects. So you're going to have opportunity for internships, collaborations, meeting people in the industry, uh, those types of things. But you're also going to have access right, to facilities, to software, technology, tools, gears, all of them being industry standard. All right. Um, normally, students wouldn't be able to afford the plethora of um, facilities and technology that we have available on campus. And then you're also going to have access to professional faculty. Um, for example, 
our, our faculty are in the industry that students are interested in. Um, so for example, Andy Fritz, who is of the animation department, just uh, finished working on the new Space Jam movie. So they're out there doing the things that students are interested in um, and also bring that knowledge back to their classrooms. Uh, but you're also gonna be a part of a community, a creative community that allows you to be inspired and allows you to meet the right people um, for whichever track you wanna take your career. So when it comes to being a successful artist, it's not only about what you know or what you have access to, but also who you know. Uh, so we really support students making connections with CCAD alums like Angelo Thomas, his work is here, uh, independent filmmaker, screenwriter, novelist, his story, The Incredible Jake Parker, uh, started out as a screenplay, turned into a graphic novel, and then actually was his directorial debut, um, completely shot on location in Louisiana. Um, it's about a pop star that struggles to find a balance between their health and their pop star life. Uh, for the students that are interested in having their own fashion degrees or having their own fashion label, um, Susanna Madrid graduated from CCAD and then moved to Italy for an opportunity to work with Neil Barrett and then created their own uh, luxury shoe line that's being sold in Paris online and also locally here. Um, and then you will have stories like Shea Beagle, who was able to sell their comic to Image Comics um, after being partnered with a professional writer in our Spitball Anthology class. Um, so we really have alums that give students opportunities to make further connections in the networks that they're really interested in. So another thing about our alums is uh, regardless of their major, they really utilize the creative community that they were a part of. So whether it's with the clubs and organizations or support services that we have, one of the biggest support services on campus that we have is career services. And they are a resource that assists with finding internships and co-op opportunities, but also help you to write your resume, teach you those interview skills that are so important to actually landing the job, right? Um, and then also run different events on campus, like the Recruiting on Campus series that invites employers from big name companies like Pixar, Under Armour, Fisher Price, uh, to give multiple different types of presentations, uh, networking events, review portfolios to give you that um, industry standard feedback. And they can also interview students if they have positions available. And so it's really all about the opportunities um, and having an institution that backs you like CCAD does uh, to find those uh, niche places that you're really interested in expanding your career to. Um, we have the CCAD job board as well. That's where employers that are specifically looking to hire CCAD students will place um, their employment opportunities. So if you all have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Admissions at ccad.edu is the best place to do so. Um, but overall, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Oh, fantastic. What a great way to get us started. Thank you so much, Columbus College of Art and Design. Okay, we are going to turn it over now to the University of Akron. Akron. Turn it, uh, take it over whenever you are ready. All right, thank you. My name is Cassie Cunningham. I am one of the assistant directors of admission at the University of Akron. And I also specifically work with all students from Illinois. So I'm really excited that uh, I can share a little bit more information about the University of Akron with you today. We are a division one um, NCAA public research institution located in Akron, Ohio. And we do have over 17,800 students on our campus. And we're located about five and a half hours away from uh, the greater Chicago area. Our students choose to attend the University of Akron for many different reasons. First, we offer outstanding academic programs. We do have over 200 different majors to choose from. Within those majors, we do provide our students with uh, plenty of uh, real world opportunities and experiences through research, internships, co-ops, clinical rotations, student teaching, and more. We also have a beautiful and safe campus with more than 80 different buildings on about 218 acres, but it only takes about 15 minutes to walk from one side of campus to the other. We also offer our students over 340 different ways to get involved. So these groups range from esports to sorority and fraternity life to undergraduate student government to our own TV and radio station on campus. 
there really is something for everyone at the University of Akron. And um, I mentioned earlier, we are a Division One athletic program. We participate in the Mid-American Conference or the MAC, and the city of Akron is the fifth largest city in Ohio. So there's plenty of benefits to being in a city like Akron, uh, both personally and professionally. We have a plethora of Fortune 500 companies located in downtown Akron. We have 13 metro parks in the area that you can hike, bike, walk, kayak, and canoe at. And there are also a ton of great restaurants and activities for our students available um, in the downtown Akron area, only a few blocks from campus. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have over 200 different programs to choose from at the University of Akron. And here is a list of our popular areas of study. Our average class size is between 25 and 30 students, um, with 95% of our classes having uh, 50 students or less. So for a full list of our academic programs, you can go to uakron.edu slash academics. In terms of our application process, you can submit your application either through the Common Application or through our website. Feel free to submit whichever application is going to be the easiest and most convenient for you. Once you submit your application, make sure to contact your high school guidance counselor um, to have your transcripts sent over to us. And we can accept those transcripts through Naviance, Parchment, Common App, even email from your counselor, whatever is going to be the easiest for your counselor. Um, and we are test optional this year, so you don't have to submit ACT or SAT scores in unless you want to. Um, once we get your transcript and your application, it typically takes us about one to two weeks uh, to re review your application and get you over a decision. The University of Akron offers many on-campus housing accommodations. We have traditional, non-traditional, apartment style residence halls and gender neutral housing options for our students. Regardless of the style of residence hall you select, all of the amenities listed on the right-hand side come standard for our students. So they all have high-speed internet, central air conditioning, free laundry services, and students not only get to select the residence hall that they want to live in, but also the specific residence hall um, room as well. So they get to personalize their experience. Uh, this happens in mid to late May for our students. And you can go to uakron.edu slash reslife to view all of our options for students. Just another thing to highlight about the University of Akron is our honors program. This is um, also test optional. Students who have a 3.5 GPA or higher can apply to the program. Uh, they don't need the ACT or SAT score scores, like I said. Students who are admitted receive the additional perks less listed on the left-hand side, and the early deadline to apply is January 4th, um, but students do have up until April 1st uh, for admissions consideration. This is a separate application, so you'll want to apply to Akron first and then apply to um, the uh, honors program. We also offer many uh, different programs that make the University of Akron super affordable to you. We do offer scholarships to students with a 3.0 cumulative GPA or higher automatically. So we have our presidential scholarship for students automatically with a 3.0. And as a non-Ohio resident, you also are going to be eligible for our Akron Advantage Award. Uh, this is um, a $3,000 scholarship. And like I said, it's specific to students who are not from Ohio. You can go to uakron.edu slash scholarships for additional um, scholarships that students can apply for, as well as read a little bit more about those automatic scholarships. Here we have our tuition and fee information for the 21-22 academic year. So just as a reminder, with a 3.0 GPA, uh, you will automatically receive our presidential scholarship valued anywhere from $1,000 to $7,500, as well as our Akron Advantage Award valued at $3,000. We do have a ton of different ways for you to visit campus. So you can go to uakron.edu slash visit for up-to-date availability and uh, register for either an in-person or another virtual visit. And this is my contact information. Again, my name is Kathy Cunningham. I'm one of the assistant directors of admission at the University of Akron. You can feel free to call, text, email me um, if there is anything that I can do. But thanks so much for tuning in and learning more about the University of Akron. I look forward to connecting with you soon. And as always, go Zips. Awesome. Thank you so much for that presentation. Another great institution. Okay, I want to remind everyone as Ohio University pulls up their presentation that we do have that Q&A function live. So go ahead and submit your questions for us. But now I will turn it over. Take it away whenever you're ready. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stacy Oliver, and I am with Ohio University. Like others on the call today, I work specifically with students in Illinois, and I'm based here in the Chicago area. Uh, so I'm excited to spend some time with you this afternoon talking about Ohio University. 
And let's see if we can get the slides to work. There we go. So Ohio University is located in Athens, Ohio, which is in the southeastern part of the state. It's about a six and a half hour to seven hour drive from the Chicago area. Um, and there's also direct flights from both O'Hare and Midway to Columbus. And we run a shuttle from Columbus to Athens several times a day. Athens is a quintessential college town. It's been named the best college small town by USA Today and was founded to be the home of Ohio University, which means there's a synergistic relationship between the community and the university. We have been around for more than 200 years and we're extremely proud of our past, but we're more proud of the ways that we continue to innovate and grow. We are a four-year public institution with approximately 17,000 undergraduate students and 6,000 graduate students on our main campus. We hit that sweet spot of being a major research institution with all of those benefits such as internships, externships, study abroad, study away, etc. But we pride ourselves on delivering our education to you in a way that's much more personalized and customized. Customized. Our student to faculty ratio is about 16 to 1, and our average class size is just about 27 students. That's an intentional decision because we want you to learn from your faculty and from your classmates as well. 83% of our classes are taught directly by faculty, meaning you're not likely to encounter a graduate student or a teaching assistant teaching your classes during your time as a student. We offer more than 250 academic majors, making it pretty easy to find something that lines up with your interests and future goals. And of course, we provide additional support to undecided students or students who decide to change their major during their time as a student. We're also home to two unique honors experiences. The first is the Honors Tutorial College, which is one of only a handful of degree granting uh, tutorial programs in the United States. And the second is the Ohio Honors Program, which brings the leadership and honors experience into any of the majors at Ohio University. We do have a vibrant and active campus and community life with more than 600 active student organizations. Some of those are tied to your academic major. For example, we have a competitive robotics team and an aviation flight team, but some of them exist purely for fun and recreation because we know that's important too. We have 16 NCAA Division I teams, as well as more than 30 club sports and 20 intramural sports. Uh, we pride ourselves on our tradition and school spirit, and there are lots of ways to stay active in the community. We also offer the Arts for Ohio series, which provides students admission to hundreds of events at no additional cost, and that would include speaker series, lectures, art exhibits, plays, and performances. Students also receive admission to all of our varsity athletic events at no additional charge, um, so you don't ever have to worry about buying tickets or planning ahead. You can just show up at the venue with your ID and swipe into the events. We are a classic residential campus, and all first and second year students do live on campus at Ohio University and more one in one of more than our 30 renovated and refreshed residence halls. Students get to choose not only the residential green they live on, but also the residence hall, the room, and who their roommate is. We really want you to find a community where you're going to flourish during your time as a student. Our residence halls are intentionally small, housing between 120 to 150 students, so you're not going to find high rises on our campus. We're also proud to be a diverse and inclusive community. What you see here are some of the centers and organizations on campus that we're proud to support and ways that students are represented on campus and have their voices heard. Um, a couple of things about our tuition and scholarships here. We were the first in the state of Ohio to guarantee a locked in tuition rate, meaning the tuition that's established the semester that you enter stays locked into place for four years or 12 consecutive semesters. That means you can have better planning and predictability as you're selecting a school. We also offer an on time on plan graduation. We're committed to that and that applies to all students at the university. So if for some reason you don't graduate on time or on plan and it's the university's responsibility, we make that right, whether it's offering additional tuition or swapping out class requirements. All students who apply to Ohio University are automatically considered for our merit scholarships. Um, we also offer an abundance of upper class scholarships each year because we want to continue to honor the academic progress that you make during your time as a student. We are fully, completely, and permanently test optional at Ohio University. Uh, students who apply as test optional are eligible for all university benefits, including direct admission to all of our academic programs, all of our merit-based scholarships, and entry into our honors and scholars programs. If you have test scores, you're welcome to submit them, but you would never be penalized for not having them or choosing not to submit them. What you see listed here are some of our more selective majors. Um, these majors often require an additional component to your application, such as 
a portfolio interview or writing sample. If you're thinking about one of the majors listed here, I'm happy to connect with you and help prepare you for what those supplemental materials may be. Our application is available on the Common app. Um, we also have an application on our website. You can use whichever you prefer. There is a $50 application fee, and I'm going to put into the chat today a fee waiver code um, so that you can apply at no cost. And then the only other required piece of that application is your high school transcript. Everything else is optional, including essays, resumes, letters of recommendation, and test scores. We love to see essays and letters of recommendation in particular because it helps us get to know you, but those aren't required. We do have a November 15th early action deadline. That's a non-binding deadline that simply gives you priority consideration for direct entry to your major and all of those honors and scholarships that I mentioned. But we also have a rolling admission process with a deadline of February 1st because we know, know we know that November 15th doesn't fit into everyone's plans. We hope that you'll stay connected with Ohio University. Here are some social media accounts that we recommend that you follow. I especially recommend our TikTok, which is run by our student ambassadors. And I will put my contact information in the chat and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, well, thank you, Ohio University. Fantastic presentation as well. Hope everyone's getting excited about all of the different uh, options that are in the great state of Ohio. We are going to hear from another one of those options now, Ohio Wesleyan University. Take it away. Great. Thank you very much and good to be here. I am glad that you're hearing from a number of great schools today. My name is Rob Walton. I'm Associate Director of Admission at OWU. You'll hear that a lot uh, if you're on campus, staff, faculty, students, alumni, it's easier than saying Ohio Wesleyan University, and uh, I think we're the only OWU out there. So we stake a claim to it. Uh, you're looking at an aerial shot of campus. Uh, if you were to turn the drone around about 180 degrees, you'd be looking back at the residential side of campus. But what you're looking at there is um, uh, academic uh, buildings, uh, some of the older buildings on campus, uh, as well as the admissions office. So when you make your trip to campus, Right where that exclamation point is, that's Slocum Hall. We look forward to seeing you soon. Ohio Wesleyan created the OWU Connection. Think big, go global, get real. That's our signature experience. Uh, it's for students who really care about big ideas, creating a better future uh, for yourself and the world. You're going to work with OWU professors to design your own unique uh, OWU Connection pathway. So this is not a this is not a rubber stamp. This is not a one size fits all. Uh, it, it is open to all of our students and you get to tailor it uh, to get the experience that you want. So this includes internships, travel, research, based on the things that you care about uh, and what's gonna help you move forward. So uh, think big, you know, through guided personalized research projects and interdisciplinary study. Go global, uh, you know, we tell students pack your passport, be uh, ready to travel. Uh, we're certainly seeing that more and more as things begin to uh, open up and, and um, uh, move through uh, the end of this pandemic. Uh, as recently as uh, last year, we had over two thirds of our students who do travel through semester abroad travel learning classes or university funded uh, connection experiences. So we do even have some classes that will travel as a part of the class. And then my favorite part, get real, right? Gaining real world experience, valuable knowledge and skills that give you a pathway to go forward to either a career, grad school, uh, and the person you wanna become. That picture there is Tom Dolan at the bottom. Class of 18, uh, his senior year, he did our Wesleyan and Washington program. And then right after college, he actually works now in Washington, DC uh, at the House of Representatives. Tom knew exactly what he wanted to do. I like this example too. This is an OWU connection journey. You see that Eva's um, path through OWU was not linear. She looked at a lot of different things. She uh, wanted to combine both her love of science and art. Uh, she did travel learning with our Galapagos Islands uh, class. Uh, she did an internship. Uh, she traveled uh, abroad and domestically. She did some local experiences right in the Columbus area. And um, now she works as a field technician out in Fairbanks, Alaska. So uh, Eva has become quite the uh, global traveler. So in terms of where we are within the state of Ohio, we're right in the center of the state. Uh, Columbus, Ohio is the largest uh, metropolitan area in the state of Ohio. It's the second largest in the entire Midwest. 
and it's the 14th largest in the country. Uh, we are in north suburban Delaware County, uh, in the county seat of Delaware, Ohio, about 20, 25 minutes north of downtown. So the best description I could give of our location might be small town charm, big city opportunities. You know, we're centrally located. Um, the campus itself is about a five minute walk from nearly 50 restaurants and, and cafes and places to go with your friends. Um, of course, Columbus is accessible and vibrant. And so having the best of both worlds that you can walk on campus, walk off campus, and then within a quick uh, drive, you're in a number of uh, great communities in and around the metro area. We have over 75 majors to choose from. You don't have to know what you want to do for the rest of your life right now. Uh, you know, we're near the state capital, so politics and government, health and human kinetics. Maybe you're thinking about going into the health field, AT, OT, PT. Business, many Fortune 100 and 500 companies nearby. Zoology, the Columbus Zoo is just five, 10 minutes down the road. Lots of internships and local experiences right there. And then psychology, which is a, a, a very versatile liberal arts degree. You can take that in so many different ways. And then over 70 others uh, that I won't mention today uh, that are equally as great. Our campus is 85% residential. Smith Hall is open as our new home for first year students. Um, that are those uh, pictures at the top, that's our brand new state-of-the-art uh, first-year residence hall. It includes a fitness room, community kitchen, game room, multi-purpose room, it's got 24-7 dining. I like to eat, so that stands out to me. Uh, just really top-notch amenities. I thought the building was nice before, but now it's amazing. Uh, and then the bottom is uh, Bradford Milligan Hall, which just opened this fall. It's apartment-style living for upper class students. So you don't even have to move off campus if you wanna live in an apartment style uh, situation. Uh, we froze tuition last year. I think the thing that makes, uh, makes uh, us always on that uh, best bang for your tuition buck list, and we're always on the US News and World Report uh, uh, value education, is because if you're looking at the total cost of attendance at roughly $60,000, the average out-of-pocket cost for our students is only $16,000. We do that through scholarship. 99% of our students do receive awards. Uh, our alums give back, certainly. Branch Rickey is our top tier award, and that is a $30,000 award. There are stackable awards, too, that you'll be able to compete for throughout the year. And the last thing I would say is that if you are looking to do uh, uh, more uh, discovery at OWU, you can actually customize your own uh, view book. And I'm the only Rob in the admission office, so I'm very easy to find. And I hope that we will uh, talk again very soon. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much, Ohio Wesleyan University. We are going to turn it over now to the University of Cincinnati as they pull up their presentation. I'm going to do one last plug for that Q&A function. Go ahead and get your questions in for any and all of our institutions. All right, we are ready for you, University of Cincinnati. Great, hello everyone. We're gonna head over to Southwest Ohio now. My name is Jen Sloan. I am the Regional Enrollment Coordinator based in Chicago for the University of Cincinnati, but I do work with students from all over the state of Illinois. Uh, we are a large public research university located in, as you guessed, Cincinnati, Ohio. We have an undergraduate enrollment of about 28,000 students and total enrollment just under um, 47,000. So we are a large school. We are located about a five hour drive from the Chicagoland area or a one hour flight. Um, the closest airport is about 25 minutes, so it's very easy to be able to get back and forth. Um, as far as our location in Cincinnati, we're about two miles from downtown. Um, something that I think is really great to know about the University of Cincinnati is you actually can't drive through our campus. So even though we're a pretty large institution, you can get pretty much anywhere walking distance in about 15 minutes or less. So it creates a very traditional on-campus experience for our students with still being in a very urban environment and having the city all around you. A lot of our students actually describe it as feeling like they kind of get the best of both worlds. So I will agree with them. We offer over 350 different majors and programs in nine undergraduate colleges, 13 colleges in total. Um, so all of our programs are direct entry. Um, I'm gonna go over our undergraduate colleges so you have an idea of what that includes, um, but do keep in mind everything is direct entry. Our undergraduate colleges include our College of Nursing, College of Allied Health Sciences, 
College of Medicine, which has two undergraduate programs, College of Engineering and Applied Science, College Conservatory of Music, College of Design, Architecture, Art, and Planning, Art Lindner College of Business, College of Education, Criminal Justice, and Human Services, and our largest undergraduate college, the College of Arts and Sciences. So as I mentioned, with direct entry, you will apply directly to your major. We also have a very popular exploratory studies program that students can apply to as well. So if you have a lot of interest and you're not sure how to narrow them or you're not sure where you wanna get started, that is an option as well for your freshman year with the goal of transitioning to your program by the beginning of your sophomore year. If there's one thing to know about the University of Cincinnati, it is that we are very committed to experience-based learning. 100% of the students on our campus are going to have experience-based learning ex opportunities outside the classroom during their time with us. What that looks like can be different depending on your program. One of the things we're best known for is co-op education. We were the founders of co-op education back in 1906 and continue to be a leader in that today. Co-op is a possibility for about a third of our students. And what that is at University of Cincinnati in a full-time format is a paid full-time working experience where students are earning an average of about $10,000 per rotation, and you complete three to five of them during your academic experience. So if you're in a full-time paid co-op major, um, you will take about five years to graduate, but still four years of school, four years of tuition, and five full-time paid working experiences as a part of that time. There are many other ways to have that experience as well. Internships are, of course, one of them. A lot of people don't know that University of, or that Cincinnati as a city has the largest number of Fortune 500 companies per capita of anywhere in the country. Um, clinical rotations are an option for some of our students. We have four hospitals on our medical campus across the street from main campus, um, as well as two more within two miles of campus. Student teaching, we have um, Cincinnati Public Schools that are walking distance from campus. We are a research one institution with over $400 million of research happening um, each year. Artistic performance, our conservatory is world renowned for what they do and one of the largest producers of fine arts in the state. Um, service learning, capstone experiences and study abroad. Over the last five years, we've had students study in over 65 countries. So our campus is very residential. Um, we do get that question a lot. About 83% of our freshmen live right on our main campus. Um, we have a lot of different ways for students to be able to get involved. We are division one for athletics. We have over 30 club sports, intramurals, over 500 different clubs and organizations in addition to that as well. Um, I think one of the strengths of Cincinnati is there is not any one activity or thing that you have to love or wanna be a part of. There's a place for everyone on our campus. Um, and we're also very excited to announce that we will be joining the Big 12 in the next three years. So that will be a big change for us too. The city of Cincinnati is consistently ranked as a top 25 city for young people and top five most affordable, which just makes for an even more exciting experience for our students. We're also a festival city, so lots of fun to be had. We are a common app school. That is the only way to apply to the university. You can submit an official transcript or a student academic record through common app. We are test optional except for nursing and early childhood education. Those two programs will continue to require a test score this year. Everything else is test optional. You will choose on the Common App if you'd like to submit a test score. If you say yes to doing so, we will need an official um, test score from ACT or College Board. And one letter of recommendation is an option. These are all of the scholarships our students are eligible for. December 1st is our early action deadline and the date that I hope you keep in mind for Cincinnati. We make this pretty straightforward for you. As long as you apply and submit all required materials by December 1st, we will automatically review for merit scholarship and our university honors program. So that is the most important date to keep in mind in terms of admission. Um, and we will automatically consider for anything you're eligible for here on this list. We are currently open for in-person and virtual visits, so we hope you'll take an opportunity to come and learn a little bit more about us. And I thank you very much for your time today. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much, University of Cincinnati. All right, we are going to turn it over to our final institution for today's session, and we're going to hear from, from the University of Dayton. Take it away when you're ready. 
thank you so much. Um, thank you for your time and pay, uh, time and attention, I should say, today on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, my name is Erin Sarouche, and I am one of the regional enrollment managers um, based in Chicago, um, uh, but working for the University of Dayton. Um, we also have two other staff members that you may work with, um, Amy Hayes, who is also regionally based in the Chicago area, and then we do have a rep, um, Missy Hasselbeck, um, who is Dayton based, but does cover um, the southernmost corners of our um, of the state of Illinois. Um, we are the University of Dayton. We're so excited to share more with you about our great university. Went too far. Um, so at the University of Dayton, we are a top tier Catholic Marianist research university committed to educating each student as a whole person. This means we empower students to learn, lead, and serve so our graduates can lead fulfilling lives and make a difference in the world. We are a campus of about 8,200 undergraduates, so a true mid-sized school. Um, we like to think we have all the facilities and resources of a large school, but the feel and community of a much smaller school. Um, for students who aren't sure what they wanna major in, we offer Discover programs that allow students to explore their academic interests while staying on track for graduation. And at UD, there's no cost or penalty for switching majors. Uh, we also offer a university honors program for students um, to expand and enhance their education that requires no additional application. You're automatically considered for, for the honors program with your admission application. And last, we're so proud that UD is ranked in the top 20 nationally for internship programs. So regardless of what you study, we believe experience can really be your best teacher. As a top tier university, our programs and facilities are recognized among the best in the nation. So, matter, so no matter what you choose um, to study, the educational philosophy will be the same. We provide a challenging curriculum in the classroom paired with hands-on real world applied learning opportunities in a supportive environment. So we are very well known for our experiential learning opportunities, um, a wide variety of them in all programs. And we do offer about 80 major programs in four schools probably most well known for engineering, business, and the health sciences. Uh, we do have a, a nursing program now that was started about three years ago. Um, highly competitive, by far our most competitive program. Um, these programs are all direct admits. So you can indicate on your application what program you wish to be considered for. And as I mentioned, the Discover program is really your best option if you are undecided or have multiple interests. There is a Discover program in all schools, um, but Discover Arts is our most general liberal arts undecided program. So giving back and learning how to build a community are essential parts of the UD experience. And our students take the concept of community really, really seriously because UD isn't just a school, it's really gonna become your home. One way we show our commitment to community is through our campus housing. Nearly 85% of the student body chooses to live on campus all four years whether in a residence hall or in one of our unique student neighborhoods. It's an extremely unique, um, special way to spend, particularly the last two years of your college experience, living in a house on campus with three, four, five of your friends, across the street from friends, but again, right on campus. And because our students live side by side in community, our campus transforms into more than just a place to live. Our housing is an intentional effort to build a learning and living environment which prepares students for a lifetime of leadership and service in their own communities. And let's be honest, it's a lot of fun. Um, University of Dayton students really know how to enjoy their time outside the classroom. Um, no matter what you're interested in, we're also ready to help you craft your own extracurricular experience at UD. We offer more than 270 student organizations, um, academic faith-based organizations, recreation, service and social action, um, which means you're sure to find something that matches your talents and interests. More than half of our students are involved in club or intramural sports, and fans of our Division I Flyers have been named among the best in the nation. All in all, our students love to get engaged, and with so much happening on and off campus, it's hard for anyone to be bored at the University of Dayton. Our students also love being here and feel supported during their time with us. Uh, with a retention rate of 91%, percent, excuse me, UD students clearly have the kind of experience that makes them want to keep coming back, and they make an impact in terms of success. So this 97% success rate on the screen is actually from our class of 2019. I think the number I'm most proud of is our class of 2020 success rate, which actually went down, but went down to 93%, which, as we all know, the year 2020 was quite a challenging time. 
um, certainly for those graduating college, and they still were able to find success and find um, a place, whether it be in graduate school, doing your service, or in a full-time position within six months of graduation. Uh, we're still collect we'll be collecting numbers for our class of 21 soon. Um, of students who are employed, 97% are in full-time positions and 88% are working in their chosen field. And our graduates are receiving lifelong support. So even after they graduate, our career service office remains an option for them to work with. Uh, we, our commitment to the common good starts with our commitment to financial transparency. Our financial aid packages offer complete transparencies about the cost of UD education, not just for one year, but for all four years. So we do also freeze our net tuition over four years um, so students and families do not have to anticipate um, an increase in tuition. When you apply, you're automatically considered for merit scholarships. Um, there's no added fees and with a visit or um, some engagement with us, as well as a complete FAFSA application, you will receive a textbook scholarship. We are in November 1 early action deadline. Um, you can see our applications there. We have no preference and no fee. We are test optional moving forward. You have no obligation to send us test scores. Um, there is no sort of negative impact on your application should you choose not to send test scores. Um, we are open for visitors. We hope you will come to campus and see us. We have some open houses coming up in October and November on Sunday afternoons, which may be more convenient, um, but please come see us. And I look forward to maybe seeing some of you out at your schools very soon. Thank you. Great. So much University of Dayton and thank you to all of our presenters today. I learned a lot about each of your campuses and I am excited to learn more and I hope everyone else is as well. All right, I'm gonna ask all of our presenters to join me on video here and we're going to do a very brief Q&A so we can get some more information from these experts who are gathered here today. Kicking it off at the top of the order with the Columbus College of Art and Design, my question for each of you is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Yeah, so I definitely highly recommend that everyone reach out to either a representative of the school that they're interested in or their admissions counselor if they know who they are. Um, no one is born understanding admissions, right? No one understands financial aid straight out of the womb. So reaching out to uh, a representative of that institution that you're interested in uh, can really give you that like insider information, right? So that you are aware of what you didn't know and it can help you to make your uh, college decision process a lot easier. My be kind of hand in hand with Ashley's about reaching out to admission counselors, but also visiting campus, um, either in person or virtually, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. It sounds like all of us are offering in-person options as well as virtual. So um, try to get to campus or visit virtually um, and maybe even request a personalized experience so you can meet not only with your admission counselor, either virtually or in person, but also uh, speak with maybe a faculty advisor, um, sit in on a class, talk with current students and figure out what they love about uh, that university or institution as well. So that would be my advice, uh, maybe trying to get some type of personalized experience with a counselor or some other people on campus. And I would build on that as well. We're doing a nice job scaffolding here. Um, I like to tell students and families, you can major in most things at most places. And it's truly the feel of the campus and the values congruence and those special things that stand out to you during a visit or during a conversation about co-ops, internships, externships, study abroad, study away, because that's what's going to make your experience stand out and prepare you for that next step of graduate school or your first job. So don't be afraid to ask hard questions and ask questions about the things that are personal and valuable to you. And so uh, to build on that, then it, it is it is your process, right? So be honest with yourself about what's going to be the right fit. Um, just because it's a good fit for your friend doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good fit for you. Uh, same would go for, you know, a family member or, uh, or a teacher or anybody else. Look for that insight. Look for that advice from other people as you go through this process, but just make sure that at the end of it, that it's the right fit for you. And I think just being honest uh, about that, um, which it seems very um, like a small thing, but but there, you'll probably get lots of information and lots of different, you'll feel different, lots of pressures throughout this, not from any of us on the screen here, 
uh, but just you know, make sure that it's the right fit for you. You're going to be the one that's there for the next four years. So I will agree with the advice that's been given, but go maybe in a little bit different direction and say, I would encourage you to try to have fun with this process too. It is a big decision, but it's an exciting one. And you have so many great choices. And much of this process, I think, is going to get to look a little bit more traditional for those of you in it right now too. So try to enjoy this time and this search and exploration. Um, you, you don't have bad choices, you have great choices. It's just a matter of finding what the great choice is for you. So as much as you can, try to find some fun and enjoyment in this process too. Awesome answers, everyone. A ditto would be my first answer, but also I would say very practically speaking, like be very aware of dates um, and deadlines. Um, some of us have hard and fast deadlines as far as scholarships go, and there's admission deadlines and then scholarship deadlines, and then the FAFSA becomes available. You know, put the dates on your calendar, make a week alarm ahead of time to remind you to make sure you have it all done and complete. Um, I think those pieces, um, they're easy to get lost, especially during a senior year of high school as well. So, but good luck, have fun. We hope to hear from you. Fantastic advice from everyone on this panel. Thank you so much for sharing not only about your campuses, but this expertise you have that will help everyone attending regardless of where they end up going. All right. I want to also thank everyone who joined us here on this Sunday afternoon. We do hope that you learned a lot and that you're doing some Googling and reaching out to all these folks to learn more about your options here. I want to remind everyone that this is one of many different sessions that are taking place today for this event. So so please take a look at that schedule and hop into another session uh, that has some other interest uh, institutions of interest for you. Last but not least, uh, when you close your session today, you're going to get a very quick uh, four question survey that's going to help us make these events better for you in the future. And then you can catch this recording along with any others you may have missed uh, at strivescan.com forward slash Illinois. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck. Bye-bye now.